And we are here with another pot ND after a bit. Uh, it's been a busy, busy few months for both of us. But what? yeah, PND's back with a new war crime of a story, so let's just get right into hey, it. It's not a war crime. They're just interesting things that have happened to me at Meme Way. And um, what I mean by Meme Way is also known as Swoob Way or Subway. Thank you for actually saying it like a functional human being for once. <laughs> Hey, I'm just trying to, you know, got to have everyone included, you know? Um, <laughs> yes, so let I'll me spend off. a lot of time explaining my inside jokes to note that nobody listening will get. Shh. All right. So I have a couple stories here. So me and my roommates, uh, the only time we ever go to Subway is at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and you might already understand that weird stuff happens at Subway at 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, the first time we ever went, um, it was two o'clock, um, we just finished playing, I think, Tales of Berseria for the night, and we're like, yeah, let's get some Subway and go to bed. Um, so we, we walked there, um, and when we got there, there's, um, when you walk in, there's tables and then to the left's the counter, right? Um, so in the tables, staring right at the door, there's this guy that is probably about 6'6", six, six, um, he has a white t-shirt, a white hoodie, a white, uh, like, baseball cap, white hair, white socks, and, like, slightly painted on white arms, even though he's already very obviously white. And then he stared at us as we walked in and just chanted for about, I think, five minutes before they kicked him out, I am God. Why... So much wrong with with those, but oh, I've never seen said, a subway you know, like, open past like 10 p.m. for one. Well, I mean, College Town. For yeah, me too. <laughs> Midnight, probably the latest. For two, I mean, like, who dis just... who decides? Ah, yes, I'm getting ready for bed. Better have a big sloppy subway sandwich. That's not sloppy. It's a meatball marinara. That is the sloppiest of sandwiches they have. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah but i mean i just i just feel like you know he got a lot of insight from something so, so, some divine thing sent a message to him and he felt like he had to do that yeah cocaine's a hell of a way to get some insight <laughs> methamphetamine take your pick yeah so yeah that, that was one a uh, different time at 2 a.m this was on um uh, junior, no, sophomore year, it was, um, Halloween. Um, so we walk into Subway. <laughs> uh, and you can bet that there's a lot of drunk people. Because <laughs> College Town and 2 a.m. To be fair, I'm surprised you don't encounter more. I mean, I do, but, like, this is the funny one. Um. No, oh, so, as opposed to the belligerent ones. <laughs> I mean, they're all belligerent. <laughs> um. So we walk in, there's probably a line of like 10 people. Yes, at 2 a.m., but it's also Halloween weekend, so people are up forever. Um, so what happens was um, this guy this guy was with a girl, and um, <laughs> the server... So the guy was saying a whole bunch of things that like weren't super inappropriate um, about like, you know, the length of his sandwich attributing to something else. Great. Um, uh, and the server guy was messing with him pretty hard and doing even more, like, directed at him. He was like, yeah, you know, it's like, you know, it's not that long like yours. And he had no idea what was happening. He was saying stuff like that to him to the very end of the line. With him not having any clue that he was insulting him. As he went to pay, he realized what happened. Looked at his girlfriend that was next to him and said, How could you let him do this to me? How could you, you let him call and say I have a small dick? And then he slapped her, then ran outside. Jesus Christ. Really? Yeah. That, I'm mm. not kidding. I have, I have three people that went with me that can verify this is all true. Good lord. Subway is just a place where, like, weird things happen. Yeah. It, it's why it's called Meme Way. 
Sure. Okay. Uh, here's another one. <laughs> the weirdest exchange I've ever had with a subway was going through a driveway on a bike. Subways are, by and large, pretty normal when you don't go when the bars close. I mean, that's fair. But, like, it's an adventure every time. You don't know what the heck's going to happen, so it's a good time. Yeah, I don't know if there's going to be a, a drunken fight and someone's going to get thrown into me. <laughs> well, you know, I haven't seen anyone fight in the subway. I, I've yeah, seen the slap. I've seen the slap. So, I mean, I guess that probably counts a little bit. But I've not seen anything past that, even though it's already going too far. Uh, but here's another one. <laughs> so this one was a very normal time. This one was actually like a normal time of the day. It was like, I think, 8 p.m. Oh, functional people hours. Got it. Hey, sounds like you're, insult you're, you're insulting me a little bit. <laughs> I didn't say anything of the sort. Okay. If you want to take that, uh, that's on you. <laughs> so um, we go in, and um, there's just a, there's two guys ahead of us. Um so they go, they have their sandwich. I think they ordered, like, four times the amount of pickles on a sandwich, which, like, I hate pickles. That's the only reason I happen to remember that. It's not really important, but I wanted to talk about it. Because um, who the heck gets four times the amount of pickles on a sandwich? It's a lot it's, of pickles. It is a lot of pickles. But then when he got to the, the register, he realized he didn't have his wallet. Cool. So then you're like, oh, he's just going to, like, not get the sandwich. Or, you know, they're going to figure something out. Or uh, or he's going to just snatch it off the counter and run. Um, That didn't quite happen, but it's kind of close. Um, so he didn't snatch it off the counter, but he did run. Right into the window. Cool. Way to pay attention, dude. Because uh, the way the subway is, is it has a window door, and yeah. then there's just a window that looks like a door right next to it. Hey, yeah, yeah. I've he been in a subway. smashed that. <laughs> like a he... bird. Yeah, it was a bird, but he went through the window. He broke the window? Yeah. He was probably like three, four hundred pounds. Oh. Trucking and into he... a plate glass window like that's not good for any involved parties. Yeah, he... He charged that. It broke. He was on the ground. Um, I got to witness. Uh, I th my friend called the cops because he was closer. Um, yeah, that was that was that was an experience. And that's how I had to help file my first police report. I mean, I didn't. Um, I think uh, the only charges that were pressed is that he had. Uh, I think they charged him for the sandwich as well as fixing the glass door. <laughs> Yeah, that track. <laughs> I just find it funny, like on they like. I mean, he he deserves to pay for the sandwich. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's just a lot less compared to the window. No, it's just a funny like idiot tax. Yeah, it's, it's what I'm thinking. It's like a hey, you know what? You done fucked up. Pay for the sandwich. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and then I only have one other one other good uh, meme way story. Okay. Um. So this is most recently, and uh, eventually when I talk to you about Halloween costume roulette, uh, you will hear about the dumb things that uh, occur there, even though you, I know you've heard a couple things. So, long story short, I went to uh, Subway dressed as a bunny girl, and um, this is at 2 a, you know, 1 a.m. Um, and then I walk in, and there's uh, another girl that's a bunny girl. I walk up to her and say, we're twinning. And then she slaps me and said... I would never, and then she also stepped on my foot, and then she turned around and didn't say anything. Yeah, you might have deserved just approaching. Oh, yeah, approaching as in, like, I was right behind her in line. And then you just started talking to her about how, yeah, we're twins. <laughs> we're twinning. What? Jeez. A lot of weird things happened to me that I probably incited upon myself. Um, yeah, this one is entirely self-inflicted. It is self-inflicted, but, like, it's a funny story now. Because, I mean, like, how many other times can you say you went to Subway dressed as a bunny girl and then got slapped? Can you say that? No. Proudly, I can say that. <laughs> Proudly. It's a good, dumb college story, you know? 
Sometimes I forget about the age difference between us, and then I think back on my college years, and I didn't do that sort of thing because I preferred to stay in the dorm halls or the radio station or in the, like with club activities or the gym or whatever. Yeah, but I, I wanted like food, you know, so we went to Subway. It's Halloween costume roulette requires that I wear it the whole time. The only place that was open my freshman year, 24 hours, was the grocery store. The worst thing the I ever got. Store isn't open 24 hours here. The worst thing I got from there was a bunch of like, hey, three for three dollars on this off-brand energy drink. Putting I've never down. Seen an off-brand energy drink. Oh, this was back at the start of Rip It. Oh. So, okay. at least that's what it felt like. It was the first time I had seen it, and it was uh, dirt cheap. And hey. Drinking three of those to try to get you through a 12 to 3 radio show shift, not a great idea. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that would be a good idea. <laughs> no. Especially when you start, like, getting real twitchy at 6 in the morning. Yeah, um, don't take this wrong way, but it's kind of your fault. <laughs> that one is, but I stayed up through the radio show that night, so. I mean, yeah, you, no big deal. You, you survived. Hey, hey. Um. I didn't get assaulted. Yeah, it's happened more than I'd like to admit. <laughs> Jesus. That will I be... I see, a what? good chunk of the time isn't my fault. Like, I told you about the mailman. I don't think that's my fault. Forget mailman. All or right. The person that called me John and slapped me in front of a Panda Express. Because my name's not John. No, no, it's not. But then I've seen this person that looks like John on my college campus, or that looks like me, who I've seen called John. I just haven't approached him. Don't go up to him get... and say twinning. You might get slapped again. <laughs> I wasn't gonna, but like, it's the only Shh. time I've ever done anything remotely like that. Also, keep in mind I was slightly intoxicated. Because um, I'm old enough to do that. Um... If you're listening, if you're a cop, you have to tell us, otherwise it's entrapment. <laughs> no, no. no. Um, someone else's bit. But, yeah, you're old enough to drink now. So, like, I was intoxicated, and I'm, I'm just like, yeah, we're twinning. Um, she was not happy about that. I, I, I don't think she liked the fact that, like, maybe I thought she looked like me, even though we definitely didn't, because, like... I look not like a girl. <laughs> Decidedly. <laughs> Do not exactly have the build of one. <laughs> All right. I think with that, we'll wrap up this episode. And we'll have to find out what other so like social crimes you commit in public hey. spaces or witness or witness. I'll give you a benefit of doubt or wit. Thank you. I appreciate that. But for now, this has oh. been... Pod Indy. Yep, and we'll see you guys at a later time.